How to get more social media followers. Are you ready? Let's dive into this episode. Hello and welcome to the PhD in Social Media podcast. I'm your host, Lauren Papandoni. Join me on my journey to learn social media marketing inside out and together we'll each try to earn our own figurative PhD in social media so we can all do great social media marketing. Getting more social media followers can feel like an absolute mountain to tackle and I hope in this episode I can provide you with three or four tips to help you get there and really understand like what you have to do so that you can get people to convert over from users to followers of your brand. Just remember though that followers aren't everything. I'm going to also be doing an episode on why followers aren't everything so tune into that one as well. Okay so how to get more social media followers to your brand or business page right? So the first thing we need to understand is that you know to get more followers you need to provide them a reason why they should be following you. Like in a sentence, you should provide a single reason for why they would want to follow you and why they'd want to tune in every single day or every single week, whenever you have new content out, why would a given user that you want to be a follower of yours, why would they want to be a follower of yours? So think about that and see if you can answer it for your business. To help you out, some things might include tips and tricks that you can offer to your audience. So that's that's a little piece of value. Or maybe you have some sort of utility angle. Maybe you're saving them time or energy, or maybe you're saving them money. So just think about why you know uh, a brand like Coles, which is just a grocery store, uh, has so many followers on somewhere like Instagram. I mean, they have hundreds of of thousands of followers. Why is that? Because they provide utility to people when they go out and they're thinking about what to buy and what to eat for dinner. You know, they have simple recipes that can be seen on their Instagram pages that inspire people, that allow them to think, oh great, I'm going to be making that for dinner and it's only going to take me half an hour and it's going to probably save me some money because they're showing me how I can, you know, feed the family for $10 as was their campaign for um, a long time. So, you know, think about how you can provide value that gives users a reason to follow you. So more in that category could include education. That's certainly the angle I go for in my business. A reason to follow me is because you might learn something about social media marketing that you didn't know before, and that's valuable to you. So um, you can think about it in terms of entertainment. Are there brands that you follow because they share memes or they share funny videos that you like to watch? Um, What about in the art category? Is there um, any brands that you follow? because they simply share art. Think about, you know, the hashtag um, uh, pottery or ceramics that, that might be followed by, you know, hundreds of thousands of people. It's because they share entertainment and art, which is totally value to people who care about that topic. Um, I, for one, might be one of those people who follows that hashtag. So another thing you can do is you can also run a competition. Now, there is contention around this because not Um, only are you just providing them pure value from your brand and it aligns to your strategy. Now they're just simply following you because they want to win free stuff. So just think about that before you run a campaign to get as many followers as you are trying to get for your brand page. Okay, so once you've got an idea as to why people might want to follow your brand, um, then you can start to do things that might align to getting more social media followers. So number one in that category is to simply pay for them. So you can run like ads. Uh, Like ads might set you back anywhere between $1 per like or even less and all the way up to maybe $20 or $30 or $40 per like. So just think about um, your costs that are going to be racked up if you do start in this area. So uh, one of the things you can do when you do start running like ads is to continually optimize your ads. And I've seen my like ads for a certain client go all the way down to $0.10 because we were providing so much value to users that as soon as they saw our like ads they were simply converting over and becoming users because they wanted more of what we had to offer so put your best foot forward and produce content that is going to convert users to wanting to follow you and give them that reason for wanting to follow you and promote that into an ad which is known as a like ad you'll find them on on most of the social media channels um, and 
basically what it does is it has a button there that allows uh, users to convert over and to follow your brand and that is the highest objective that that post is trying to attain so it's going to be pushing it out to people they think uh, most likely follow brands in this category online and also going to be um, you know utilizing and optimizing that post so that the like button or the follow button whatever channel you're on that is big and prominent and the, that is the exact action that the user takes when they see that ad. Um, so just think about that as the first thing that you could possibly do. However, it may set you back some money. So on average, you might see you know a five or $10 cost per like just by starting out, but you can optimize as you go and make your content better and better and make that uh, value proposition as to why users wanna follow you better and better and that will reduce your cost per like. Right, so the next thing that you can do is have good content. So uh, I've been kind of dancing around this the whole time about, you know, give your, re give your users a reason to follow. And that reason is some sort of value, whether it's anywhere from entertainment to education um, and just simply saving them time or saving them money. Basically, if you have good content and users like that content, their reason for wanting to follow you is because they want to get more of the thing that you've got to offer. So simply produce good content and followers will come. Okay, so having good content isn't everything and isolated, it won't be enough. In this crazy world of social media where everybody has a brand page on every single channel, it's simply a supply and demand problem between the amount of brands that are out there and people that are out there with pages and things for us to follow and, con and awesome content versus what we can all physically look at. So the stats are around 5% of the people that actually follow you actually see your posts, which means that if you are posting content out, you know, you need to not only have good content, but you need to be upping your game and paying to reach more people in order to convert those users over to being followers. So have great content, that is first and foremost, and have an idea of how you're sharing that value and how you're giving that value to users and why they might be wanting to follow you or might, why they might want to follow you. And then promote and expand your efforts by promoting your post and reaching more people um, than you organically or unpaid, uh, organic means unpaid, so then you organically would have reached. So um, use ad spend to your advantage to reach more people and have good content that once it reaches, once your content reaches more people, it then seeks to convert them over to being a follower. And the fourth one there is to just think about it and ask people to, uh, you know, the fourth one there is to simply ask people to follow you. You know, it's uh, more often than not when we tell people share this or like this or follow us, you know, if you give them an instruction, they will more than likely do that instruction if you are doing all of the other things on the front end, which is providing great value to them or, you know, po posting your content out to a larger audience. Mostly if you um, provide value to them and then you tell them, hey, if you're liking this content, why don't you like it? Why don't you subscribe? Why don't you, you know, follow us for more, they will most likely do that just on the basis that one, you told them to do so, and two, because they are liking you and they're liking your brand and they're liking your content. Okay, so those are my four things that you can do after you understand why your users are following you. So get that better down. Then dive into like ads, but be mindful that it can get expensive. Next, produce great content and always strive to produce great content that has value for your users. Thirdly, put some paid spend behind those posts and promote them out to a larger audience that you think you can convert to your users and pick great content to promote as well, content that is likely to convert your users and put your best foot forward. And then number four, ask your users to follow you, to like and subscribe and to share it out with their friends if they think their friends might be interested. Okay, so that is my tips on how you can boost your followers or increase your likes to your brand page on any social channel. Um, if you do try this, let me know how it goes. Let me know if it, if it worked well or if I could make some tweaks to this. I'd love your feedback. So for now, it is bye. And as always, cheers to your social media success. Bye. <laughs>
and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now and cheers to your success.